All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here for the men's middleweight final. Tynan Del Procosta from Art of Jiu Jitsu against Pedro Enrique Mayacosta from Escola de Jiu Jitsu, de Jiu -Jitsu here in the finals of the 2023 Brasileiros. Here we go. Now Tyler Dalpa just went over to Pedro's corner. Salo Ribeiro greeted him and walked right back in. These two know each other, they have fought before. Pedro has given him a very tough fight last year. Uh, even Tynan said this was my first fight, but Tynan has been on a tear. Every time he shows up, he's, he competes. He's more and more dominant. Now, Pedro Ricardo, funny story. I walked in this morning at 8 o'clock in the morning. Pedro was already full gear on, gi on. Uh, belt on, heels ready to go, and it was just 8 in the morning. He wants to beat Tynan. He's been training for this. He wants to give him a fight, and he wants to finally beat Tynan. Let's see if he can do it today. And if he does, he will make a name for himself here at the Brasileiros as Tynan is undefeated in IBJJF black belt competition. You know what I'm noticing about his opponent, Pedro, there is he is very alert. Very alert. And he's just, every movement he was trying to just be one step quicker than Tynan. But Tynan was able to eventually pull close guard. So we'll see how this time from their last time they competed, he was able to study and address any of the issues that he dealt with when he originally competed against Tynan Dalpra. Let's see what kind of tricks he's learned or if the game he's evolved for this young man. Pedro Enrique actually down by one advantage. He's going against someone who's not only very dominant, but everything is dangerous. Everything is perfect and precise. That's the, the thing with... Gives with Tynan, no I, I like to call him the excellence of execution because it's very rare you see him make a mistake. Shout out to Bret Hart. Tiny Dalpra now. Got a little Bochinia foot there. Paulo Henrique trying to defend. Now they both come up, but Tynan has a good uh, grip on the bottom of, of Pedro Maya's pants. And it sits. Very Relax interesting. to go back to guard, playing guard. And it concedes the two points. Not something you see every day. So Pedro Maya is leading the score with seven minutes to go. Pedro Maya doing a great job of countering so far. He's really able to anticipate. Tyna trying to come up. Pedro Maya got there earlier. Six forty to go. Pedro Maya leading the score. Pedro Maia, who lives in Brasilia, the capital of Brazil, opened up his school, his own school, about a couple of years ago. But continues competing at the highest level. Titan's got this modified X guard, now using it to invert, to get to the back, to get on top of Amazing. his opponent. Oh, he's got the arm trapped. One hook in, out the back. On the back, I should say. Gets the advantage. 
Now hunting for that back. Pedro trying to get out of there. A really tough spot. The excellence of execution continues to chain his attacks against Pedro Enrique Maya here at the 2023 Brasileiros. Tainan Dalpro returns to Brazil in stunning fashion, not just in kimono fashion with the Arrington Senna patch, yep. but in jiu-jitsu fluidity. Can't quite see what's going on underneath there. He's got really good mount control. Control in the back right there. Seems like he's got a body triangle on Pedro. Yeah, Pedro trying to stand up and trying to shake Tynan off, but Tyna just breaking down that posture, breaking down those frames there. A little risky to play in such a position towards the edge of the mat. Obviously not their choice, but they got to be careful there. Because if Pedro spins out, if Tynan has a submission, that could cost him some points. Cost, yeah. Four two, Tyne and Dalpra. Hunting for that neck. Yeah, referee's gonna stop the action, restart towards the center, or somewhat towards the center. But we don't we definitely don't want to see uh, the match change any sort of momentum because of the position there. Pedro Enrique doing a good job of defending. He was able to defend the choke. Trying to feed that collar to his left hand. Peter's been doing a good job answering the phone right there to defend his knack. And that body triangle squeezes the life out of you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it, the position itself is nasty. The pressure of being in the finals in that position is terrible. The pressure of being with Tiny Dalper on your back with a body triangle in the finals of the Brasileiro. Multiply it by 10. Must suck. <laughs> <laughs> but Pedro Enrique keeping his composure and trying to do what he can to defend and then escape the position. I just don't think it's going to happen today. It's really tough to get out of there. He keeps trying. Pedro's got the heart of a champion. Having a big heart is not enough to beat Tynan. You gotta have a big heart and a big technique library and a big amount of experience and the right strategy. And the right strategy. And maybe somebody else helping you. Literally, a second person. I don't know how else you're gonna do it by yourself. <laughs> It's funny because some of the people in the crowd are saying Tamahanda, which means he's stalling, but I, <laughs> no, he's sorry. dominating. How can you say that's stalling? It's hilarious.
the only reason why he hasn't choked out Pedro is because Pedro is doing a good job defending because he's trying. He's got excellent control on Pedro. He's been trying to choke him out since he got to that position. Well, you know what? The referee is going to penalize Tynan. Or at least he just, he just signaled like he was about to. I think he got it called back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what do you want him to do? He's trying. He's switching uh, grips on those on, on those collars. Pedro's just doing a good job, either answering the phone or or risk controlling him. Now Gee's calling for action. Now he's got the collar. Lost it though. Guy Mendes telling him to, to heat it up a little bit. He's like, let's go, let's go, keep going, keep going, turn it up, turn it up. Seven seconds left. Now, technically, if Pedro Enrique can shoot a double and score and get two. I think Tynan just Oh, got he got his another two points. My bad. It wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter if he shot a double. It he would, would have to double leg to mount. I was going to say, because the score was two to two, if he would have... Uh, if he would have scored, you know, he'd be in a good position. It would be 4-4. Yeah. Seven seconds left. Tynan is on his back. I think there's a little bit of a confusion with the score here. With the coach, between the coaches and the, ref and the, uh, the referees. But, yeah. And that is and it. 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 Tynan Dalpra is your 2023 Brazilian National Jiu-Jitsu Champion. It brings home the gold. Very impressive performance by this young man. The excellence of execution does it again. Tainan Dalpra, Brazilian national champion. All right, guys, coming up, we'll have the medium heavyweight finals in just a few minutes. Gustavo Batista versus Mateus Spirandelli. Don't go anywhere.